Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Reezy bringing you that fresh content straight out the press, just like always. Uh, I I think everybody has noticed that the page has revamped a little bit, and I'm hoping everyone is feeling that. You know, my boy Torn uh, hooked me up with this fresh uh, intro, and he also redid my overlay. Man, this man is the truth when it comes to this technology stuff and making sure everything everybody's good with what they need as far as YouTube and Twitch goes. He is the man. And I'm going to leave the link to his page, his Instagram page, in the comment section. Um, so that way you can definitely check him out because uh, he will get you right if that's what you're looking for. Um, so in this video, I'm going to be featuring um, one of my sets that I did um, in a Sunrise Cup and I had the opportunity to be um, matched with the one and only Allie Lucky. Uh, I tried to bring that heat, but she brought that heat back and um, <laughs> pretty much uh, embarrassed your boy. But it's all good though, because I was I was just happy that I got the opportunity to face such an amazing battler in the Go Battle community, um, well known. And so, um, she did grant me permission to post these battles, even though I did not win a single battle. But we can also talk about some of those highlights and uh, we can go over some of the mistakes I made and some of the great plays that she made. Um, so and we can all learn from it, regardless if it's a win, loss or draw. Um, so we're going to get right into these battles and we're going to see how, you know, if your boy did OK. Or if I got some work to do, you can let me know. Put it in the comment section. Let me know how you think I did. All right, let's get into it. All right, let's review the film. All right, here's game one. Um, so, you know, I went into this with the same strategy that I went through with the entire, you know, the entire Sunrise Cup. Um, you know, I used the double debuff team. It's very annoying, but <laughs> very effective. Um, so my plan is to try to catch the Vigor. I knew she had a Vigor on her squad, so I wanted to try to catch it. Uh, she leads off with Obama Snow. This is not the best matchup for me. Um, I have struggled to play this matchup the entire tournament. Um, so, but I'm trying my best to play it to the best of my ability. So I know usually people think I'm going both beam, but I had to go straight ice beam here. And I knew that she was going to throw an energy ball here, but I decided to not shield anyway. And I think that was one of my mistakes right there, um, not shielding it. So I go into it with uh, Stumpfist, um, hoping to get this rock slide off to get this Obama out of the way because it cannot see my drift limb. And then she decides to shield it. And I knew right then and there that it was going to be a long day. So. Back to back weather balls are coming through. I do not want to burn my last shield. So I decided to just let my Stumpfist eat the weather balls in the hopes of, um, well, matter of fact, I didn't use any shields. I should have, could have used the shield, but I decided to keep my shields. She comes in with her man time. Um, I swap instantly into my Drift Limb. And my play here is to not get Ice Beam. And she baits with the Bubble Beam. So she swaps right into her Stumpfist. And at this point, I'm switch locked up against Stumpfist. Not much I really can do because I just burned the shield on the Bubble Beam bait. And I just go straight Icy Wind. I have back to back Icy Wind stack. Um, just trying to to beat out the clock at this point. It's, that's my play. Get out of this matchup um, as soon as possible. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm stalling out. So. I'm watching the timer and then I noticed that, you know, Stumpfist was able to get off a rock slide right before I could switch. So I instantly swap. Did I instantly swap? I didn't swap. I built up some energy and then I set my um, my Stumpfist. Then she swaps into her Mantine, uh, which has pretty much full health. So these rock slides, I mean, yeah, but no, they help or not really. So I swap back in, I throw the Icy Wind because I was like, I didn't want to waste a, a, a Shadow Ball, she was going to use a shield. And then here, um, there's nothing I can do. The match is pretty much over. Ice Beam takes me out, okay? Well played by her. Um, and I think, you know, what turned, what changed this matchup is me not shielding that Energy Ball in the beginning, which I should have done, but I did not do. Um, so going into this second match, um, I catch a great lead, great lead right here. Barry thrown against Stumpfist. 
Um, so I'm kind of happy. I'm like, all right, cool. This is what I wanted. I wanted to win the lead. And so what I decided to do is form up to two power whoops. I knew they were going to throw an earthquake, but I know earthquake is not enough to take me out. And so I'm going to throw back to back power whoops here. And so the first one goes through. And right before I throw the second one, she makes an amazing swap. <laughs> an absolute amazing swap right here. And, you know, I'm just stacking energy. I'm just like, you know what? It is what it is. I'm just going to take my energy and dip. Unfortunately, I had to burn a shield because I got greedy. Um, oh, actually, I stay in. I go for the thunder. I stayed in the matchup. Uh, do get a shield, which is, I mean, that's cool. And so here, you know, I have to watch out for the shadow ball. Um, obviously, that would hurt. And that's what she throws. It does hurt, but it doesn't KO. So, you know, Manton is pretty thick. If y'all haven't noticed, Manton is pretty bulky for the most part. Um, so I go straight Ice Beam, take out the Drift. Um, I'm kind of feeling okay about this. I know there's a Snump Fist still there lurking. And we're going to just go straight Bubble Beam here because that should do enough damage to at least take it out or set it up to where I can form down with whatever else I want to bring in. And so that's the mindset that I was going into this game with. Um, so I have an option. I'm like, well, I could go back into a fairy thorn or I could just go into a drift. I go into a drift lamb and then she comes in with her man time. Uh, I'm just going to go straight um, shadow ball here uh, to do some some crazy damage. Then I form a little bit more Then I swap into my fairy thorn. Um, I know this is just going to be um, a, a bubble beam. So I let it go. It's all good. Thought I could get off the power, which would have been amazing. But I was not able to. And here I banked on her throwing the bubble beam. And she threw an ice beam. And that match is over. So, as you can see, you know, it, great plays. You know, absolute great plays by her. Um, and just me being greedy, I think, is what killed me in these games. Greedy, um, misjudgment, uh, miss, some misplays. You know, that type of stuff can cause you. In these tournaments. Alright, so badly here, Obama Snow is back. I freaking hate this thing. My Ferrothorn has no way of beating it. If I had Flash Cannon, I may have had some play there, but um, I opted to use Thunder to catch the Flyers and to catch the Mantine for the one shot. So I go into my Mantine just like you know before. I go straight Ice Beam, and then I noticed that she swapped, and I didn't even know that she swapped. So another amazing swap by her absolutely amazing i mean she her her counting is on point i mean with everything you know so i wait out the timer as i should and i go back into it man time go straight for the thunder i'm not even going to waste any time here i just want to go ahead and get this thing out of the way and it goes through and i'm like all right cool i got pretty good help there but then i still have to worry about this obama snow which my double debuff plan did not work because she didn't use figure off not one time during these during our matchups. And so I usually my play is to trap the vigor off. I bait it out with Ferrothorn, they swap in, I swap in the drip limb, I trap it out, get it out the way, and then pretty much sweep um with either with Ferrothorn or sweep with Mantine back. So but unfortunately the plan that I've used this entire cup came to a drastic ending to Ally Lucky. She she was able to to dethrone me because I legit <laughs> used this same team in nearly every cup that I played in, uh, every Sunrise Cup that I was in. Um, I was also able to win my um, um, a Sunrise Cup in one of my local um, Discord groups. So... I know the strategy works because I I got the dub. I was able to, you know, win, but you know, every, all strategies don't work on everybody. But that was the one strategy that I was the most comfortable with. And so I decided to use that strategy because, you know, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, then hey, you get the results like this. You know, I got swept. Oh three, you know. But for the most part, you know, I was not upset about, you know, losing because I do all of these things for the experience and that's what it's all about. You know, I've never really been into the self 
cups because like I say, I just really started back playing in March. And so I really, I, it took me a little bit to catch up to the concept. Um, so, but now I'm, I'm starting to learn and I, I thought that, you know, you can only sign up for tournaments that are local or near you. But now I've learned that you can sign up for any tournament around the world as long as it's available, especially during COVID-19 and, and quarantines and things like that because everything is remote. So uh, it's a great experience. If you are not into the Sylph uh, Cups, please try, just just give it a shot. You know, try it out. We got the, Mar the Marsh Cup coming up in November. Um, so, you know, give it a shot. If you, it, Sylph can be very expensive, but, you know, if you don't want to invest in, in mines that you don't think you'll have any use out of, just use the ones that are available to you and just build a team from there and have fun. That's the main thing. It's just to have fun. Like I did. I have fun. Um, so it's a great experience. So I do want to thank Ali for allowing me to use these videos um, for my page. Um, so, so, you know, as you can see, sometimes strategies work, sometimes they don't, but it's all good though. Uh, so I think I was able to finish in the top. I know this is a big turn. It's like 66 people in this tournament. I think I finished in the top 20. So kudos to that. That's a victory for me. I finished in the top half of this tournament. Um, so I'll take it. That's a win in my book. I take all my wins, no matter if they're big or small. So anyways, y'all, like always, thank you for always tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. You know, it helps the channel. And we need to make sure that we get this info to the people because they need this knowledge. You know what it is. All right. So until next time, everybody, holla at your boy.